Alright, so I'm really glad to be finally able to make this video. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a few rounds of good news. The first is that uh, Reishi Mushroom is actually going to be available and back in stock on Hyperion on Monday for the first time in like uh, two months or something. So yes, that's the first round of good news. I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about that. So finally, finally, the Great Reishi Apocalypse of 2011 has come to an end and uh, we can all have this herb back in our lives. Second round of good news is uh, going to come a little bit later, but first I'm going to talk a little bit about Reishi, a little bit of the history, a little bit about what it's done for me and why I'm so excited and why it's my number one herb of all time. So first, let's just talk about the name for Reishi and its cultural aspects and implications. So Reishi, uh, the Chinese word is actually Ling Chi, which means spirit herb or god herb. So some of the other names for Reishi are Miraculous Herb, Medicine of Kings, Marvelous Herb, God's Herb, The Great Protector, Herb of Good Fortune, Long Life Herb, Mushroom of Immortality, Auspicious Herb, King of All Herbs, Lucky Herb, and Happy Herb. And in Japan it's known as the Thousand Year Mushroom, um, which is re referring to and referencing its longevity promoting properties. Now in ancient times Reishi was really rare and really hard to find, and it was only reserved for the very elite in society, meaning the emperors, meaning Taoist sages, and people kind of in the know. So people like us, people like you and me, not that we're not, you know, ruling class or elite in our own right, but in those days, maybe we wouldn't have even known about it or had access to it. And there was even a time where things like cordyceps and reishi were actually illegal for common people to possess meaning it all had to be sent to the palace, it all had to be sent up to the emperors and to the ruling elite because they knew how amazing this herb was. And actually the original scepter, meaning the little um, kind of magic wand kind of uh, walking stick-ish kind of thing that the emperor would carry was originally a reishi mushroom and they have some uh, replicas and some specimens in museums in China where they actually, uh, they don't have obviously an original reishi mushroom, but they have a wooden, um, basically carving or a wooden replica of reishi mushroom. That was the scepter that he carried. And this is the person who's supposed to represent like, quote, he heaven's will on earth, or supposed to be the bridge between heaven and earth. And he's carrying reishi as his symbol. Also, reishi was ubiquitous throughout, you know, the architecture, um, throughout the art, throughout even the clothing just ubiquitous throughout the culture and it was the literal symbol for longevity, for good fortune, for long life, for prosperity, for all of these things which we we think of that represent a good life and represent a, a healthy happy life. So this hopefully illustrates and shows you why you know reishi has been such an amazing herb and maybe you know you have to ask yourself why why would a culture so old be so interested in one herb? Why would they give it such such titles? Why would they give it such esteem and such status? When in Chinese medicine there's like thousands and thousands of herbs, but they chose one <laughs> to represent all of these different things, which we all pretty much agree are things that we want and things that we want to strive and bring into our lives. So that's, that's hopefully illustrates that. Let's fast forward to modern times and we have all of this scientific information which just validates and illustrates how amazing reishi is for our body. And if that isn't enough, <laughs> what, what's really amazing is there's, there's actually a Ganoderma museum. I Meaning Ganoderma lucidum is the, um, the Latin binomial for reishi. And there's actually a museum in Taiwan, a full-on museum dedicated to one herb. <laughs> so if you know of any other herbs or plants that you either are, are taking or are not taking that have museums, Please let me know because I don't know of any. I've never heard of any. And honestly, in my research, when I found out that there was a Reishi Museum, I laughed and I cried. I didn't really cry, but I wanted to because I was so happy. Because in my mind, I always thought, there should be a Reishi Museum. This herb is amazing. And sure enough, there is. So that's a little bit of the history. Reishi, for me, in a nutshell, has just transformed me as a person on all levels across the board. And it's something that I'm going to continue to take and continue to do 
for the rest of my life, and it's been a passion of mine for the last six years. I've tried as best as I could to turn on as many people as possible and educate people as to what the herb can do, as to what it's done for me and what it's done for other people that I've worked with, that I've coached, that I've consulted with, and what they've told me. I have, I have just countless, countless emails of people who say, man, this herb changed my life. It did all of these things for me. It's really quite amazing. So all of these things put together is leading me up to the second round of good news that I have for you right now, which is that I just released a new course that I've been working on for probably you know six years, if you really stretch it out, because I've been doing research pretty much full on every day on this herb for that whole time. So the, the course is called Immortal Mushroom, and in my opinion, it's the most comprehensive, most in-depth, most well-rounded product, book, education, audio course, whatever that's ever been put out on reishi mushroom. Because a lot of courses talk about, oh, it's good for your immune system, it has polysaccharides, it has beta-glucans, great, that's awesome. But they miss all of the, the spiritual aspects, all of the mental, emotional, transformative properties and potentials that the herb has. So I really wanted to bring all of that out and bring out my experience and bring out all of the experience that I've had over the last you know, six years working with people and seeing what it can do, not only in the short term, but also in the long term. So the course is called Immortal Mushroom. You can check it out at immortalmushroom.com. And right now it's up, um, you can do a five day free trial. So you can basically check it out and get over three hours of audio and video plus multiple, multiple articles as well as other bonuses that I threw in, all of it for, you know, nothing. And if you like it, you can check it out at, uh, or you can, if you like it, you can check it out. It's $23. If you don't like it, you can just send me an email. You don't have to pay anything. It's pretty ridiculous, but I'm only doing it because this herb is amazing and people need to know about it. You need to know about it because it has all of this history. It has all of this modern research and it has all of this potential to really improve and take our lives to a higher level on you know mental emotional physical spiritual aspects so again I'm really happy to to make this video and share the news with you so you can see a link for that below you'll see it here immortalmushroom.com so check it out and uh, thanks again for watching my videos and uh, supporting what I do if you have any questions or comments post them below and I'll talk to you soon